watching for a friend where I watch movies and shows because I love them and let you know whether it's worth watching or not. If you're new here, thank you so much for choosing me. I hope you enjoy this video and stay till the end. If you are returning, Again, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate all the love that you're, you guys are showing me. Today I'm going to be reviewing episode 6 of season 4 of Insecure. And this episode was called Low Key Done. And let's go on and get into this review. So tonight's episode was very entertaining. I enjoyed it. That's my initial reaction. This was an episode solely focused on Issa. So it was really nice to get Issa for the entire episode. We only saw Molly briefly as well as the other characters. So we start off with Issa the day after this epic block party. So she's dealing with the aftermath of the block party as well as this blowout that she had with Molly. Issa is extremely upset about it. So much so that she's having a hard time reveling in how well the event went. So when she goes on social media, we see that people are loving the event. They're tweeting about it. They're posting about it. And it really was a success. And Issa can't even really enjoy the the accolades that she's getting she's replaying the fight in her head which anybody who's been in a fight with someone that they love you just kind of replay what you said what the other person said over and over in your head and so we hear you know molly's voice saying oh you you're the same selfish person that you've always been and east is just really down about it and we see her asking herself like am i a selfish person and kind of replaying it in her head she gets on the phone with nathan and as always he has some really encouraging things to say to her he says that he didn't feel like she was being selfish or using him and that's something that molly initially brought him in to the fight saying that Issa was using him. He was like, I wanted to help. You were not using me. Just enjoy the fact that this event was bomb. I really liked the theme of this episode, even though things <laughs> in true Issa fashion never quite worked out. This is just kind of a throwback to awkward black girl, right? She is, I, I love that she's still bringing that element into it. It's, she can put on this wonderful event. She can have all this great personal growth, but at the heart and soul of who she is, she's an awkward black girl. And I love that they kept that essence in this series. So she goes about her day trying to do good deeds for people starting with a pregnant girl at the store who's asking people if they can help her buy some necessities. She, against her better judgment, decides to try to help. <laughs> and of course, in awkward black girl fashion, her car doesn't go through. She tries it twice and the girl ends up being like, you know what? <laughs> this is starting to get sad. It's okay. I appreciate what you tried to do. And I'm just gonna... <laughs> you know, bow out right now. The next thing we see her do is pick up this old man, George, because he missed the bus. And he's like yelling at the bus. He's an older man. She is willing to give him a ride and he's super skeptical. He gets in this car. He is the most annoying person on the planet. <laughs> He's so annoying. He is, he's inconsiderate. He's annoying. He's crass. And she, and he, she's going all out of her way for him. And, you know, even though she tried, again, it was her trying to do good and try to do good deeds and it just keeps backfiring because she's an awkward black girl and nothing can quite go right. It was funny when he finally gets to the house that he... <laughs> made her go through a lot to get to he gets to the door and this dude comes to the door so confused he was like dad and I was like uh oh I want to know what that story is going to be all about then we see that she's doing a self-care Sunday so that's you know she's doing the self-care Sunday solo since she no longer has Molly to do the self-care Sunday with and she goes to a pain and sip I love that they had Kyla Pratt in this episode because they're just pulling all the black stars out the woodworks. Like Kyla Pratt is an LA native. She's LA through and through. Love her. They were so nice to her. She had so much fun at Payton Sip. I thought it was going to go differently. I didn't see the twist. She has so much fun with these girls at Payton Sip and you know, she they're familiar to her and then they ask her to go 
out to a bar with them and she decides you know why why not let me just put myself out there and go and things are going well and then they ditch her at the restaurant and I was like is this how DC people do <laughs> I was so upset with them and then we see Issa fantasizing about rolling up on them and then I love the scene where she like hit the girl over the head with the paint, with the uh, painting that she made of the paint sip. So that was funny, but I felt so bad for Issa. So one thing that I loved that e they helped define at the happy hour with the, this group of girls, Issa mentions, or they ask Issa what she does, and she defines what she does, and she calls it a cultural curator. And I loved that, and I was like, okay, if anything, <laughs> at least she got that. She defined what it is that she does out of that whole debacle of a situation. She's at a low point in her, her day, and she calls someone over the phone. We don't know who it is, and it turns out to be her mom. Wendy Raquel Robinson is back, and she had a heart-to-heart -heart with her mom, and I loved that scene. I am really excited to see more from Wendy Raquel. I hope that she gets a little bit more screen time. I loved the scene with her, she and her mom, and you get to see a little bit about their relationship, which seems to be very connected, she even at one point just cries in her mom's arms and I loved that scene. Very vulnerable and we're getting some different layers to to this character to Issa who we've been following for so many years now. And we also see her chat with Kelly and I loved what Kelly said to her and I've been saying that I want a different layer to Kelly and we got a little bit of a of another layer last season when she got upset at uh, Tiffany's baby shower, we get a little bit more of her softer side in this episode. Kelly mentioned, you know, when me and Tiffany were going through our thing, if we had it, if we hadn't talked, like we would have let it go on forever. It does give us a glimmer of hope that maybe there's some reconciliation on the horizon. Issa finally starts to get, you know, her, her vibes up. She's, you know, her mom empowers her. She's like, I'm going to own where I am in life. She starts to lift her spirit. She smokes a little bit. And then she starts responding to comments on social media all these comments just you know talking about how great this event was and one comment was like where could I find more of these events so I think what she's gonna do is create a website and make this her business and I can't wait to see what else she does and I'm really excited to see where they take this they go back to the Ethiopian restaurant that Molly took her in the very first episode for her 29th birthday so I was like, oh man, okay. I knew when I saw that sign <laughs> for the Ethiopian restaurant, I knew that Molly was going to be there and she was and she avoids Molly. And But I did like that they threw it back. So the very first episode made that full circle. It's like they first went there as best friends and now you know, she encounters Molly there almost as an enemy. So it was definitely like a full 360, 180, full circle <laughs> moment that I could appreciate. And that was really good for fans of, you know, people who've been fans of Issa Rae for a very long time and fans of this series, Insecure, for a very long time. I was like, oh man, this is like a throwback to the very first episode. So we will see what happens next week. I'm sure there, it looks like next week they're going to be focusing solely on Molly. So we'll see how she's dealing with the aftermath of this. Okay, those are my thoughts on this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am at over 60 subscribers now I'm really excited and I'm still looking to get to a hundred subscribers so if you haven't already subscribed feel free to go on and do that right now like give me some comments down there and of course share this with your friends and family anyone you think would be interested in my reviews thank you so much and 